The existence of this ship has been widely debated. Is it a legendary ghost ship or just a phantom? Regardless of which is true, the tale of the SS Urang Badan is nonetheless a chilling and intriguing one. While plenty of ships have sailed the great seas, unfortunately, some do not make it to their destinations. The open water is filled with secrets and has swallowed a number of man-made vessels along with those on board, leaving many to wonder and speculate about their fate, others to investigate and question if they existed at all. The story of the SS Urang Madan is so bizarre that it falls somewhere in between being a legendary ghost ship and perhaps a story that was never meant to be heard. Naturally, as curiosities are aroused, so is the emergence of conspiracies. There are various speculations about this alleged ghost ship's mission and ultimate fate. Before diving into the story, let's make a note that there are conflicting years in which this incident supposedly took place. One being in and around 1939 or 1940, and the other being around 1948. Whichever year it was, it's also unclear as to where the SS Urang Madan was traveling to and from and why no record of the ship appeared in maritime logs. As one version of the story goes, on one cold morning, an SOS was received by several British and Dutch outposts near the coast of Indonesia. The radio operator's call was disjointed and reportedly said, All officers, including captain, are dead. Lying in chart room and bridge, possibly whole crew dead. Following the distressed call was a string of incoherent Morse code before a final message from the ship's radio operator signed off, The captain of the Silver Star, an American ship closest to the Urang Madan's coordinates, accepted the rescue mission and set sail to investigate the call. Several hours after the SOS, the Silver Star successfully located the troubled vessel, about 50 miles out from the position given, somewhere in the Strait of Malacca. A more recent and notable incident involving that particular body of water, the Strait of Malacca, was in 2014, when the Malaysian airline Flight 370 vanished there without a trace. The Silver Star attempted to call out to the ship in hopes of getting a response, but got nothing but chilling silence. To further investigate, a rescue crew from the Silver Star boarded the Urang Madan, only to find a shocking and eerie scene. Everyone on the ship was dead. After discovering the strange and haunting scene, the Silver Star decided to tow the ship back to port. And just as they finished joining the two ships by a line, the crew noticed smoke billowing from the hull of the Urang Madan. Taking no risks, they immediately sprang into action, quickly abandoning ship and severing the line they just connected. They did so just in the nick of time, as moments later the Urang Madan exploded and was engulfed in flames before sinking, taking its mystery, its crew, and any evidence of its existence beneath the surface of the ocean, never to be seen again. Another account was reported in Trieste, Italy, in November 1940 by a merchant marine officer who claimed to have been an eyewitness to the incident. The Yorkshire Post then published the news story from the Associated Press about the Urang Madan on November 21, 1940. Like most stories, the accounts of the Urang Madan have several differences. However, it appears the versions align for the most part. The merchant marine officer, who remained unnamed in the original article, was supposedly a part of the Urang Madan rescue mission. According to the man, the initial SOS call was a request for medical assistance, then a request for a warship. The call was, SOS from the steamship Urang Madan. Bag ship with a shortwave wireless get touch doctor. Urgent. The officer ship relayed the Urang Madan's message to medical stations and received a new request from the troubled vessel. Probable second officer dead. Other members crew killed. Disregard medical consultation. SOS urgent assistance warship. Following this transmission, the Urang Madan managed to provide its location just before its messages started becoming unintelligible. The officer claimed that after 16 hours, they found the stagnant ship leaning a bit on its starboard side, off the coast of the Solomon Islands. They were able to confirm the name of the ship, as indeed the Urang Madan, and tried to make contact via megaphone. After receiving no response, the rescue crew launched two lifeboats, with eight men on each boat, rowed over and boarded the ship where they quickly realized the gravity of the situation. 
The Associated Press story published in the Yorkshire Post stated that 12 bodies were found on board the Oorang. However, the officer also stated, We reckon the Oorang Madan should have a crew of about 40. But in the years after the initial publication is where the timeline gets sketchy. On December 5th, 1959, a letter from a C.H. Mark Jr. was sent to the CIA asking their opinion on the Oorang Madan incident and whether something from the unknown could be involved in the case. In it, Mark claims to have previously sent a letter on May 29, 1958, regarding crews and or ships who have disappeared while at sea. The earlier letter was replied to in June by the assistant to the then director of the CIA, Alan Dulles. The letter simply thanked Mark for his very interesting letter and concern, but stated that they were unable to answer his questions. Later, in his December 1959 letter, Mark stated that he had just read the story of the Urang Madan and outlined it in his letter where he stated that the incident took place in February of 1948. He told the story in the manner it is commonly told, and quoted a report from the Proceedings of the Merchant Marine Council that said, Their frozen faces were upturned to the sun. The mouths were gaping open and the eyes staring. They were frozen in terror and faced up with the look of convulsive horror on their faces, as if they'd literally been scared to death. The deck was littered with the lifeless bodies of the sailors. They appeared to have dropped dead at their post, and none had any apparent wounds or injuries. The captain was dead on the bridge, and dead officers were found in the wardroom, chart room, and wheelhouse. Sailors sprawled about the deck, passageways, and their rooms. Even the ship's terrier was found dead. In his version of the event, the faithful Sparks, who sent out the SOS, was also found dead with his hand still in the telegraph key. He also stated that he felt Sure, that the SS Urang Madan tragedy holds the answer to many of these airplane accidents and unsolved mysteries of the sea. He ended his letter with a final sentiment that read, Yes, the enchanting sea. What terrifying secret does it hold? I'm sure that the SS Urang Madan tragedy also holds the answer to this secret. Some accounts have claimed that the Urang Madan was on an unauthorized journey, hence the ship's lack of trace. According to Lloyd's List, one of the world's oldest continuously running journals which provided maritime shipping information and news as early as 1734, there are no records showing that a ship called the SS Urang Madan ever existed in nautical history. In addition, there has never been an official record of whatever discoveries were found on board. Those who believe the Urang Madan existed have theorized that the ship's registry was never found because it could have been registered in Sumatra. Madan is a Sumatran island and the ship's name translates to Man from Madan. Believers also theorized that the Urang Madan might have been carrying illegal and lethal substances in its fourth hold, possibly highly deadly biological weapons. It is speculated that potassium cyanide and nitroglycerin could have been stored in the ship's hold, and those volatile substances could have become reactive for a number of reasons. Moreover, if the ship was carrying these substances, it may also explain why there weren't official recordings of the ship or the incident, as the world was still on political eggshells post-World War II, and transporting sensitive materials could have been relatively controversial. It is possible that the precise story became so convoluted due to the sensational newspaper reports about the incident, which varied tremendously, adding various embellishments over time, making it difficult to determine what actually happened or if the event, as we know it, happened at all. Like most brow raising stories, the Legend of the Urang Madan Ghost Ship went on to inspire the video game Man of Madan, released on August 30th, 2019, by Bandai Namco Entertainment Europe and Supermassive Games. Their interpretation of the story was supposedly highly inspired by the writings of Silvio Shirley, who was rumored to have gotten testimony from a survivor of the incident. The alleged survivor, a German sailor, told his tale of the ship's tragic end to a missionary while on his deathbed. The missionary later described the incident to Shirley whose writings made the incident even more infamous. With the ocean making up a majority of the Earth's surface, it is no surprise that abandoned ships or ghost ships would have their fair share of mysteries, and theories about what happened to them can range from foul play to explosions to natural disasters and even the supernatural. Some examples of the most common theories pertaining to abandoned ships or ghost ships are Mutiny Crews overtaking the captain for their own gain in some way. Piracy. Outside invaders causing harm to the ship. Insurance fraud. Abandoning a ship to claim the insurance money for the loss, or stealing a ship and disappearing the crew to claim the insurance money and or a reward for it, referred to as a salvage reward. Human error. 
miscalculating directions, equipment malfunction, cargo malfunction, and so on. Sea quakes, which are earthquakes at sea that could potentially damage the ship or its cargo, releasing explosive vapors and such. Water spouts, which are tornadoes at sea, more common in warmer water climates, but occasionally they can occur in colder water, just to name a few. The vastness of the ocean is without a doubt remarkable, and that vastness is still mostly unexplored. And being just a tiny speck in the middle of the ocean, it is no wonder things could easily vanish from history before history even knew it existed. What lies beneath the surface, down at the ocean floor, are likely more questions than answers to the many, many mysteries at sea, perhaps including that of the SS Urang Madan. Now that you know the story, at least a version of it, what do you think? Is the SS Urang Madan an actual marine mystery, or is it simply just a myth?